so uh, this episode is a little bit scary. The uh, other night, we were lying in bed and we heard strange noises coming from upstairs. So I grabbed, I grabbed the antique gun and I started going up the stairs, not knowing what I'd find. And of course, I filmed the whole thing on Facebook Live. You can find it under bonus material, drums in the deep. But here's kind of what we saw. Going up the servant staircase. Okay, lights. This floor is like really old, so nothing works. Oh, there's a light there. All right. Anybody up here? Wow! Oh, geez. oh, poor bird. Whoa! Jeez. Let's see if we can turn the lights on. Lights? No lights? Jeez. Wow! Is that an owl? I am getting out of here. So that was, sorry about the scary noise there. That was slow motion. Um, man, we saw, we've seen a lot of birds and other animals in the house. And, and, and as we went down to the basement, we, you know, we noticed that there were about 20 broken panes, lots of them missing. So animals were going in and out. That meant that what we need to do is we needed to get in here and fix a bunch of the glass. Because honestly, some of these rooms, even in the basement, are pretty cool. Like, look at this room. It's an awesome room. So we went around, did all our measurements. Uh, found a place to buy a couple tools, a little ladder for 20 bucks. Uh, found a great place uh, near Angers that cut glass for us, 80 bucks for about 16 panes. And then we got to work. Leslie's cleaning the panes in her soon-to-be kitchen. Um, I'm using this nice Bosch to cut out the, the window panes. Sometimes we just pull them out. Uh, it kind of depends. Each window is a little different. Uh, but it went really well. No cuts, <laughs> amazingly. Uh, and we started switching them in. Now, it was not, um, it's not a perfect job, but it, it's going to at least keep the elements out now. Um, and if you look at some of these windows, you can definitely tell which the new panes are. So uh, it's all going to be considerably better, and then we clean up the glass. But honestly, it wasn't all a nightmare. I mean, it, the room is great for classical music and singing. Or, or maybe that is a nightmare. I'm not sure. That's a tenor song and I'm a bass, so it was a little rough. But uh, no, I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it looks a lot better, but we were not out of the woods yet. Um, I went to the very last room and I started to pull out, uh, open the window, and it crumbled. It fell right out the whole thing. The wood is uh, completely wrecked. You can see it. It's like the consistency of paper. And worse, um, some, of the, some of the rock was crumbling too. So, it was, you know, it's difficult to know what exactly to do. Uh, the birds, though, are not just making problems scaring us. They also leave a lot of messes all over the house. So we had to go up to the gutters and clean those out. Also a challenging job. We had about 10, 10 gallons of um, bird debris uh, we cleared out. Um, the, my uh, former chateau owner assured me that I should not step out onto this ledge because the stone sometimes crumbles, so I did not. But I did stand in the window well which again, another uh, nightmare, but you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to reach stuff sometimes. Don't worry, I was never in a position to fall really um, until I went up into the attic and looked for pigeons. Then finally we wanted to find a, a way to walk to Beaugé for the students. Um, and so we found this little road and it started off as a good road, then it went to a gravel road, then it got smaller and smaller, but we were so close to the chateau that we just kept driving and this is our property to the right and we were hoping it was gonna connect and sure enough, it connected to our, our gate. But it was a little nervous when we were driving that narrow road. Lots of nightmares today, but lots of fun too.